Okay, uh, again, more volume. This time we're going to talk about volume of a sphere. And a sphere is similar to a ball. So this is a ball, three-dimensional figure. Notice in the center there of the ball, there's a radius. And we're going to use the radius to help calculate the volume of a sphere. So the volume for a sphere formula is right here. It's 4 thirds times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius cubed. And what this means is you need the radius, multiply the radius three times. That's what radius cubed means. It means radius times radius times radius. <clears throat> so here's an example. Here is a sphere and has a, notice here it has a radius of six inches. So we're going to apply the formula to find the volume using the six inches as our radius. So again, we're going to look at <clears throat> This relationship here, I have 4 thirds times 3.14, which is pi. So I've got 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 3.14 pi. And then for r cubed, I put 6 times 6 times 6. Again, that would be 6 cubed, and that's what 6 cubed look like. looks like. 3 sixes, because there's a 3 as the exponent. So... Uh, that's our formula, and if I simplify that a little bit, I'll get 4 thirds times pi, and 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. And then if I just multiply this out, I'll get 904.32, and our, again, volume is cubic inches, so inches cubed. And that's how much it would take to fill up this ball, uh, 904.32 cubic inches. Little inch cubes would fill up this ball, 904.32 of them. And that's how you find volume of a sphere.